Good to Great by Jim Collins, a five minute leadership book summary. I'm Jono White, let's jump straight into this and I'm gonna give you a summary of one of my favorite leadership books of all time, Good to Great by Jim Collins. Uh, so Good to Great is broken up into three different areas which is split across um, six sort of uh, things that are, that are really important in leadership. If we go back a step, Jim Collins and his team are researchers. So they researched a bunch of companies, I think 400 and something companies and whittled it down to 11 that they sent. These were good companies that became great companies. And out of, this, all this, out of all this research, they looked for things that these 11 companies had in common, particularly that other companies didn't. Um, so the, the three big areas are disciplined people, disciplined thought, and disciplined actions. Let's start with disciplined people. Jim Collins talks about this idea of level five leadership. And one of the things they found in common about these companies that went from good to great was surprisingly, it was less about a leader who was big and charismatic and vision, 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 and much more about a leader who had um, a really determined will and walked in humility and was able to put the company first. That was the level five leadership. The thing that really stood out for me when I read it was about humility. That's actually a key to helping your organization become great. Um, the second thing is first who then what. This really spoke to me. Jim Collins talks about getting the right people on the bus and the wrong people off the bus before you work out the direction of the bus. When I read Good to Great, I was reading it thinking that vision trumps people every time. And really what I was saying is why and what trumps who. I tend to now agree with Jim Collins. Who before what. First who, then what. Get the, get the right people on the bus and the wrong people off the bus and then work out where you're going. That's the second thing. Um, the third thing that, uh, that Jim Collins identified, now we're moving into disciplined thoughts. So we've talked about disciplined people. Disciplined thought is about confronting the brutal facts. And this is the Stockdale paradox. Basically the Stockdale paradox is a guy, um, Jim Stockdale I think his name is, well that's definitely his last name. And he survived incredible torture and horrific situations through the Vietnam War. And one of the things that uh, basically the way he approached it is he would confront the brutal facts uh, but with a determination and hope that he could survive it. And it's the combination of those two things. Often we're all hope or all negativity, but Jim Collins noticed that these companies were able to confront the brutal facts um, with a we will prevail attitude. Um, moving on, the hedgehog concept, possibly one of my favorite concepts in the book. This is a Venn diagram of three different things that overlap, what are they? What are you deeply passionate about? What can you actually be the best in the world at? Not what you wish you could be the best in the world at. And what drives your economic engine? I might even do a video specifically about the hedgehog concept because it's such a great concept. Uh, but let's keep moving. So you wanna actually combine those three things. That's disciplined thought, disciplined action, a culture, of discipline, creating a culture of discipline in their organizations. Not much else to say about that. Um, and then technology accelerators. Once again, this wasn't the biggest thing that stood out for me, but what, uh, what, one of the things that I would say that Jim Collins identifies is that these great companies weren't jumping into the fads of technology. They were instead taking their existing momentum that they had built and they were leveraging particular technologies to help them go to another level. He then sums it up with this idea of a flywheel. And the flywheel talks about the buildup. A flywheel is this big, slow thing that moves. And initially you gotta put, and so the companies that didn't end up great focused on big breakthroughs everywhere. Maybe this will be our breakthrough, maybe this will be. But instead it was actually the companies that focused on getting the buildup right, building the momentum and creating a flywheel. And what that basically means is it's a system that reinforces itself. I do this, then I do this, then I do this, then I do this, then I do this, which leads back to this and it goes around and what happens is you build up, you build up, you build up, then you have breakthrough and by then you're unstoppable. And the faster you get, the faster you get, the faster you get, the faster you get. So for you, the question around a flywheel, based on the Jim Collins book, um, Good to Great, is what might your flywheel look like in terms of doing this, then doing this? You know, For me, at the end of my flywheel, it's about reinvesting um, into my marketing, et cetera, so that it actually keeps generating and grows and grows and grows. There you have it, five minute leadership book summary. I'm Jono White from Clarity. I hope this has been helpful. Good to Great by Jim Collins. Cheers.